Hey guys, how's it going? So, I know I've made a video in a while, but I wanted to get back into making these and seeing as a little, little bit more time, I thought I'd try it again. So, I'll just get right into this. This is X-Plane 10, one of the newest releases from Lamar Research. Don't quite know the name, but it's really stunning, and this is the complete unedited version. Um, I, have, I don't have any add-ons installed. Uh, I did install this plane, but that, other than that, that is it. I'll go ahead and zoom out here real quick. If I can remember the keys. There we go. So, this is our ERJ 145. Um, you'll have to forgive me, I'm still learning how to use the keys right now. Um, I have about... 45 minutes in this simulator so all I've really done was set up the joysticks and pretty much just launched into the game and um, got it all configured and then I thought I'd start making some YouTube videos so this approach today is the Potomac approach into DCA or Washington National this is for runway 19 um, I'll go ahead and throw the approach plate up there for you guys so you can uh, take a look. And, uh, yeah, don't expect uh, this to be perfect. Um, honestly, I'm just going to do my best not to crash. Um, like I said, I have about 30 minutes actually flying in the sim, so everything's still new to me. I'm still trying to memorize all the speeds and um, settings for not only my th throttle and my joystick, but also for the specific planes. So, sorry for the roughness. But, hopefully, I'm gonna start recording some more and I'll start making some more YouTube videos and hopefully these videos will get a lot better. I did not realize she was in here. Okay, that really scared me. But yeah, so I'm gonna start making some more YouTube videos and we'll kinda, we'll see what we can learn from x -Mine. So, if any of you have watched my other videos, you know that I've done pretty much everything in Flight Simulator X. Now, unfortunately, I'm starting to go away from that. Now that it's uh, it's kind of starting to get a little old. Um, don't hate me too much for that, but it's just my opinion. And, you know, now that we have newer sims, it's just... It feels a lot more natural. The physics are a lot more better in these planes. Uh, now granted, I don't have a lot of time in these planes, but what I do have, it's uh, it's been a lot of fun. So, while I'm at it, um, I should probably go ahead and throw down my gear. I probably should have done that a little while ago. But, if you're unfamiliar with the Potomac approach, uh, basically we're following this river right here, the Potomac River, and we're not allowed to fly into the restricted, or I'm sorry, the prohibited airspace directly in front of us. So, we basically kind of curve on this river, and then we make uh, about a 30 degree turn and um, we're set up on short final for runway 19. So with that, it looks like I'm a little high. I'm going to switch views here. Uh, like I said, I'm still learning these controls, so you have to forgive me. It's going to be a little rough on the transitions. Um, I don't want to edit this video too much so you can just see what it's like just at the default settings. Uh, future videos, I probably will change some things. But yeah, this is, uh, this is stock setting. I haven't downloaded anything for this, uh, like I said, besides this plane itself, and I just wanted something nice to fly and show off to you guys. So with that, you can see all the prohibited airspace right over there. Um, it should be directly in front of us here. That's uh, that's leading up to the monuments, Jefferson, Lincoln, all that. It's just going to be right off there. So we have to stay directly over the water, and then we're going to kind of do a nice curve in. So I believe the, re uh, sorry, the V-Ref speeds around 130 something, at least what I've been flying with this flap setting. So you can see the runway right off to the right. So what we're going to do here is we're going to get just over this bridge here, and then we're going to start making our turn. Um, oh, there's a ghost police officer. If anyone's ever seen any videos uh, about planes going into Kai Tak, uh, it's an old airport in Hong Kong, I want to say. 
Uh, that's kind of what this resembles. So I really hope I don't overshoot this. lining up much better than I thought. Now watch me go right past the runway. Now I'm not sure why it's getting all turbulent all of a sudden, but it is really starting to sink blow rate, me around. Sink rate, sink rate. Sink rate, sink rate, Whoa. sink rate. 40, 30, 20, 10. Okay. Well, you know, I'll just keep that in the video. I don't even care. Yeah, very professional. I know, but I'm not really sure why that happened. Um, I'll go ahead and retract these flaps. I will switch views view for you guys. Yeah, you see, it's... You know, I'll, I'll take that view off. I'm not sure why that's doing that. Um, I don't know if it's just this airport, if it's the time of day. Maybe I have too many things installed right now. Uh, or, I'm sorry, too many settings turned up. But, um, I'll try to change that. Like I said, this is uh, my first time recording a video in X-Plane. But I wanted to do something for you guys. And, um, so far, this, this looks like a pretty awesome simulator. So, with that being said, I'll do another video a little later in this week. Kind of explaining why I've been gone so long. And, um, hopefully we're, uh, where I'll be going for here. From here. And, um, yeah guys. So thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next episode.